Welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. Let's check out the laundry and washroom. Should probably have some sort of tool out. I don't know, this one maybe? National Health System, name Carmen, District, Oxford and Thames Valley, type social. Oh, ID. Let's look at that closer. <laughs> Education Service, Carmen Oduka, Senior Care Nurse. Duty Nurse, Week 28, Carmen, Carmen, Elizabeth Cream, Hygiene, Oduka, Elizabeth Prem, Knits, I don't, I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> Ghostly crying means there's spirit energy here, but I mean there's spirit energy like everywhere. Almost everywhere. Seemingly not in the science room. Well, that's great. I'm sure this will be a totally normal phone call. Mm-hmm. Hi. We were promised by Howard? Ah, we can dial numbers freehand. A phone where you can dial whatever number you want? Gives you a lot of possibilities. Now I gotta be on the lookout for phone numbers. Elizabeth Prem, Oxford Thames Valley, social and vulnerable complaint. No one in authority wants to listen. We've written and recorded the phenomena. H here. Wait, what does that say? Here? Here at Chungra? I'm not sure. We have proof. That R is really strange. It looks like a Z to me. The newspapers say we're making it up. The kids, Matron, Carmen, and Thomas. We've seen things, read things. We will not be silenced. Another radio. Every radio I see, I gotta turn it, tune it to 90 something. Or was it 80? I think it was... It's this one. I'm thinking maybe they all have to be tuned to that station. Should I leave it going? It might be kind of annoying. Do 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 do. Boo 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 boo. Okay, there's nasty spirit energy coming from over there. I'm not- I'm sorry, I'm not gonna leave that running. That's too annoying. Is that a picture of the queen? Um, trigger object things? Forgot what they're called exactly. Uh, 
Very hot. Yes, that's for them. I don't know if this is related. I guess not. I think that's all we've got for that so far. Thought for sure there'd be a voice to record. James. looks so out of place. There's gotta be something up with it, right? I mean, I guess not. Those are probably going to be traced. Ooh. Yeah. This was the person who killed themselves with a shard of glass, was it? Do I have the information on me? Uh, I don't. All the information on like how people died was down in the main room. The main, like, desk. Ugh, object of death, that's gonna get traced. saw too much. My eyes saw too much. We've seen eyes drawn all over the place, on the walls. 
kind of next to and in the same style as those strange symbols that we saw above the padlock outside. Do we have anything else going on in here, by the way? Hey, I've got an issue. Is this something we've seen before? No, this is different. The time. All my tech thinks it's still midnight. 0013 to be precise. Yeah, the cams are the same. Huh. Could be a password? That must be an important time. If it's all stuck on that time. 0013. I'm gonna write that down. Oh no, the air quality is back to poor. It's 13 degrees. Full moon. <laughs> Full moon, how appropriate. <laughs> Am I the only one where, when we turn on the night vision camera, that sound makes me think of... Aliens. Like, the movie, the series, Aliens. There's some sort of scanner that made a noise that that reminds me of. This is obviously an important place. See all the um, eyes and those symbols all over. Let's see if we have enough objects for this. I think we might. We have that, and then is it the toenails? No. Huh. Uh, what is it we're... M Missing. There's three types of objects that you need. A portrait. Something with their face. Okay, so that's the name card. Murder weapons are a good one too. That's the glass shard. What's the other one? Portrait plus memory item plus death item. Okay, so I'm missing the memory item. What's a memory item? I don't know what that means. Something related to one of their memories? So it's not this. Nightmare Man tapes? <laughs> I don't think any of these other things would be it. Maybe one of the patients? Nah, so we're still missing a third object. Missing uh, the third object for Thomas Harding, the person in the attic. Addict? As well? It's not addict. Attic. Do you think I have enough radios? We have access to three radios that I can turn on to that station. Let's explore some more. There's plenty more. Angelique? There's plenty more to ex explore. Let's just navigate like this. 
Christ. I want to go read the files for Carmen. This is terrifying. I can't take it. Turn that off. They don't have anything here for that nurse that we just saw. They do have something here for Elizabeth Preem. Wait, and that shows... That shows the mirror. Well, if it's Elizabeth Preem, then... Don't we need their name tag? Why was it... Why did it allow me to put the other person's name tag there? Can you put wrong objects? Perhaps? Anything here that's a clue? We have... Well, we have the mirror, obviously. And also, for some reason, a picture of a light? Here? I don't know why. Where is that? Well, let's continue to explore. So we've already been in here. But we have not been to the office. Caroline, go play with the others. Error. Okay. Once part of the Harwood House living rooms, this space has undergone more change than anywhere else in the old house. In 1968, the room was converted to an office and staff loo. This is how we see it now. Almost all of the children sent to live at Shangri-La would have waited here for inspection by the matron before being introduced to their new home. Time never did catch up with Shangri-La, neither did the attitude towards state care and the underprivileged. Some have reported the phone to ring, which should be impossible. There is no connection to the outside world. Yep, experienced that one for myself. Although not in the office. <laughs> All the kids waited here for inspection by the matron. Calling it inspection sounds like... I don't know, it sounds like the children were goods rather than people. Which is maybe how they were treated. Ooh, that TV is hot. Date of birth, not even exactly known. Left at Oxford A and E. Um, something. Something. These are obviously important, and unfortunately, I can't read them very well. That might be a problem later. Maybe. Take it easy. Leave the kids with us for the summer. Yeah, they'll have a great summer here. Summer vacation. Woo. Oh, Jesus. What is... I keep seeing a hand pop up, like, right here. What is... Did I say this had a paper turning? Hold on. What? What am 
am I turning? Is that like something on the other side of the wall? There's some deeply menacing energy here, but I can't detect anything. Another one. Oh god, they have no face. Fuck. A good something for the girl. She does not deserve this. <laughs> Yes, yes, come in, please. Please come through. Take a seat. We will begin. Shangri-La offers short-term and long-term solutions to the problems that face modern, hard-working parents. Send your darlings to Shangri-La. Admitting that you are struggling to cope is the first step to a happier family life. No, 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 no tears, please. I will look after each and every one as if the child were my own. Just dump your children on somebody else to deal with. We have so many of those. Let's take a look at the TV. Are you coping? Is modern motherhood proving too taxing? Are you struggling to make ends meet? Are the little ones too much for you? Well, we have a solution for you. Shangri-La Children's Home. Based in the rolling rural hills of Oxfordshire, Shangri-La Children's Home offers fresh air in abundance, nutritious country grub, and a warm and safe environment for your loved ones. Free yourself of the burdens of motherhood and trust Shangri-La Children's Home to educate your child to the highest standard in maths, English and science. A healthy lifestyle waits with many outdoor activities offered to keep young lungs clean and consumption free. Days out to the seaside and fair are also encouraged. Perhaps such frivolities are beyond your reach, perhaps too far away. Or for financial reasons, you just can't afford it. So allow us to help you provide the stimulation your child needs. Education. Exercise. Teamwork. Fun. Shangri-La Children's Home is the perfect place for your child, no matter what age. If you cannot cope, you are not ready for motherhood. Let us relieve you of your burden. We offer short stay programs as well as more permanent solutions. Shangri-La Children's Home, Wolfenden, Oxfordshire.
Love all those flesh-faced children. Can I do anything to this? Like... No controls other than turn it on and off. Would there be anything to, like, see on the screen? Everything kind of disappears when I bring it up. Oh, we got a bunch more. A bunch more. Oh, wait, these are all the ones I have. Am I supposed to, like, move them into the right position? I can't move them. I think I'm just lacking some, perhaps. Was that two? That one's already up there, right? But yeah, they do get put up automatically, of course. I want to make sure there aren't other hot spots near that one. How come everything I pick up gets, like, put down? Another radio. Am I just banned from using anything? Is it a bug? Feels like it must be a bug. Oh, I can't even save here. I could save here. Let me try to save and reload. Yeah, now it works. It was just bugged. This has a nameplate on it. 9261. I don't think I can dial that. I, could I dial this from the other? Like, is that some sort of internal phone number switchboard thing? Maybe. Let me put that in my notes. no safe phone numbers on any of these things, right? No, just dates of birth. Let's go to the bathroom. Staff Lou, situated near the office the Staff Lou is part of the original plush living rooms of Harwood House. It is hard to believe, given the current usage, with a dirty, ramshackled old toilet, cracked ceramic tiles and rotting shelving, the Staff Lou is an unpleasant space. Yes it is. Where did the EMF energy go? Oh, 
Oh. Nasty, but oh. Might be a memory item. Start doing that again. What the hell? Whatever. There's another time. Help us, you can help us. Someone called here. Find us. Something like that. How many do I need? I mean, I guess there are slots for a lot more. I want to go see if I have the items for the nurse in the laundry. go this way anyway. To the laundry. I knew that happened. Roses like he used me. Let's try dialing that number that we saw on the other keypad. 9261. I, I can't press one. 926. Does the one not work? I guess the one's broken. This might not be um, a number thing, actually. It might be a text thing, because there are letters associated with each, with each number. Hmm. Well, that widens the range of potential things. Well, next to the numbers on the other phone, it said S-H-A-N, like the first letters of Shangri-La. Sean. So S H A N. S H A N. Yeah, that did nothing. I 
I'm kind of relieved that's not the memory object. I don't really know what happens when you finish one of these things. But I'm kind of scared. Let's go check upstairs, I suppose. Did I go away? Mm. Matlock? You are in the green team. The rest are in the day room. Normally I would cut when I'm moving from location to location, kind of backtracking, but given the things and the, the things that happen while you're moving and the mood of the game, I don't think I should. Hang on, stop there, newbie. Uh, you're not assigned anywhere upstairs, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. Let's uh, let's see how we get on, yeah. Okay. I can see you on the cams. <laughs> so maybe I should tune all the radios to that one frequency. Let's do it. Let me just double super confirm that it was the frequency I thought. 89.3. Yes. So there's four radios that we've found so far? I think. Wait, can I not use that radio? I guess not. I think there's a radio in here. Oops. Again, normally I'd cut this out, but I feel like mood-wise I shouldn't. And then we have the one in here? Was there one in the office? Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. I guess I got too far away. It stopped ringing. Sorry, call back later. So then there's one in the washroom, and then the one in the attic. <laughs> Hold on. Well, 
actually, no, I should answer just in case I miss it. Something let us be free. There wasn't a radio in here, right? Some lab stuff we can use. But no radio, I think. Yeah, no radio. This one's already going. Then... What now? Do I have anything else that I could put on here? So I've got the death object and we have a portrait. So now I just need the memory object. Whatever that is. Some tapes. pH test strips. Toenails that jog your memory, buddy. <laughs> Any of these students? Got a feeling I'm heading for a brick wall here. I got a lot of pieces, but I don't know what to do with them. Ah, on the observation mat, I can ask more specific questions. Are you Thomas Harding? Yes, okay. We're getting some activity. When did you die? One, nine, eight, four, 1984. I think we already have that. 1984, like, yeah, I'm sure that would be in the files downstairs. I guess it doesn't hurt to write that in my notes. Thomas Harding died 1984. Rose. Dead. Who is Isabella? Whoa. Uh, uh <laughs> a time event. Whoa, that's obviously important. That's the same time it is in the modern day. An infernal modern did. I like the classics. Oh, so maybe I didn't have to turn on all the radios. Maybe it's just this one that needs to be set to that station. Never mind, I can't change it. <laughs> the science fair. The kids always do very well. Oh, I was worried that would bring me back. No. Got an achievement. Relive Thomas Harding's reverie. Yeah. Can we do that again? Yes, we can. Whew.
The old college. I had such high aspirations. I never liked you anyway. I'm glad she ended it, for I have something new. Postcard from Kenya. I took the job. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I had to get away from that place. Forgive me. B X X. I never liked you anyway. I'm glad she ended it, for I have something new. Golden Star, well-drained soil, pot ash essential. A rose, the rose she yearns for. I managed to find it. Still popular, a couple of hundred years later. But I need to plant it with, um, pot ash. So, oh, they were trying to woo the ghost of Isabella. They liked roses. Now we know a kind, I guess. Small price to pay for a fair beauty. The Golden Star. The old lamp is essential. No one wants to wander hard in the dark. The children have found a passage deep beneath the school. The old cellars? Or some previously unknown structure? I've locked the door to that area. I have an uneasy feeling. Headaches and migraines. I've talked to Matron. She thinks it's eye strain. The migraines have returned, along with the voices. A fever, or perhaps an allergic reaction. The voices are worse. One of them talks to me in my head. I must seek help. The whispers, they know my name. She knows me. How can that be? How can she know my name? I woke to find myself at the chamber door. This feels like a kind of important picture to me. I don't know why, but what the heck, let's put it in my notes. Picking up the threads. There's a torn up note here. Can't touch it though. That symbol could be important as well. I'm going to put that in my notes. Is this the memory object? No. Guess I'm just supposed to plant it myself or something. So I can get a golden star. I accidentally took the pen back, by the way, if you're wondering why it's not here. Where did it go? Oh. Why would no one listen? The dark fall has returned. 
dark fall has returned. I think I'm gonna turn that off. The radio thing doesn't seem to be working. I'm just thinking that we had two objects for Thomas Harding and we were able to speak with them. We have two objects for Carmen Oduka. Pretty sure we're supposed to plant this in the greenhouse. That makes sense to me. Which we do not have access to right now. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's a spirit board around here. There's that orb that comes by. Is it going to do anything now? Checking out the objects. Mm -mm. Again? It stopped, didn't it? as fast as I could. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. I think it's fair to say I'm stuck, so I'm gonna look at a walkthrough and see what I'm missing. Hold on. They are gone. Left us behind. All alone. Please, if you're there, please help us. I'm trying. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna take a peek at a walkthrough and see what I'm missing, because I have a lot of things that I can almost do, and I have a lot of objects, but I'm not really sure what to do with them. <laughs>